The prize was postponed last year due to a sex scandal within the committee. Criticism again flared up after Peter Handke got the prize. He's the Austrian writer who's denied the Bosnian genocide. Christopher Leandor is one of the members who resigned. He says the reforms are taking too long to come into effect. Literary critic and cultural journalist Anina Rabe joins me. Hi Anina, so what reforms are they talking about? Uh, I am not really sure what reforms they are talking about, but um, I think that they uh, probably mean an openness and uh, um, also, um, yeah, I, actually, I, I, I think it's a little bit vague on that point um, about the reforms, because this external committee was not really supposed to reform the academy. There were only some sort of construction to assist the, the, the academy in choosing the winner. Okay, what do we know about this uh, external team that they were uh, thinking of having? Do they have people? Do they already have the team? Well, it's quite vague how the, this, uh, this committee was selected, actually. Um, and uh, one could say that, um, first of all, I want to say that it is a quite bad decision uh, to have an external committee. If you have had problems with secrecy before and uh, with, with leaking things, to bring in more people from the outside is not a very good idea if you want to keep that secrecy. But these people were... The two resigning people are both very well-known writers and critics in Sweden. Uh, the other three are very young and uh, have not um, been working very long in, in mm -hmm. uh, with these things. So it's, well, one can only guess, you know, but... So um, Anina, Anina, sorry to cut you off there, but I am having trouble understanding one thing. So the criticism that the committee receives is that they are misogynistic, they are Eurocentric. They are no, a bit out of. You. They are a bit out of touch, uh, and you just make your decisions accordingly. Why do they need so many like external teams, uh, some policy changes, big plans for this, and so much time? I mean, what really needs to change in Nobel Prize? Uh, what really needs to change is the academy, because there are still members of the academy who stand for very conservative forces and. Uh, as long as those people are still there, nothing is really going to change. And my theory, uh, and I'm not alone in this theory, is that several of the members of this committee were picked by the conservative forces in the academy. Um, but the whole idea of the committee was uh, from the board of Nobel that is above the academy, that they these external people should be sort of, um, when the academy had had so much criticism, there, there should be an external committee to make sure that they did their job right. So hold on, Sh do you think there should be an external committee or not? Absolutely not. It's, it's a really stupid idea. But you think that the committee should renew itself as well. So how is it going to work? I think the the committee the committee should be um, abolished, and uh, I also think it will be after this year. I'm not sure that there will be another committee. I'm not sure there will be other people to fill these committees' role. And also now we have four new members of the academy entering the academy, four women who have been chosen, and. Uh, that means that the academy is almost full again. Unfortunately, we have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.